Magandang gabi. Good evening. Shalom. Um, other friends, uh, ambassadors and uh, diplomatic corps. Um, I would say my good friend, Monsi. And uh, I, would, I want to open, uh, I think the Secretary has left, but Secretary of Tourism. And many other friends who are here this evening and their colleagues. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words, and I'll be very short. Um, and I want first to thank Monsi for organizing this evening. It's a great opportunity, and I think uh, we are happy. We are, you mentioned the, the pandemic, and we are sort of opening up things as e are easier, so it's great to have such events, and also great to be here. And um, thank you for that. I think it's... Uh, when I was thinking what I'm going to say today, I prepared some points, but after arriving here and hearing Monsi, I think I will leave them aside. Just a few words, because you talked about pandemic, you, talk about, you talked about national disaster, natural disasters, and uh, I think the whole uh, idea of uh, diplomats, of ambassadors being here uh, in the Philippines, we're here in order to connect between people and between countries and between nations. And this uh, building these bonds, usually uh, we will do them, especially when there is a crisis. And when I talk about the Philippines, I would first of all think about 1938 when the Jews were trying to escape from uh, Europe, from the Nazis, and most countries closed their gates. And in 1938, President Quezon was able to open the Philippines for 1,300 Jews. And this is what I call really giving a shoulder, opening the doors and the hearts for people that are in need, and the, the Jewish people and Israel are, we always remember, remember and cherish this uh, gesture. And until today, for that reason, Filipinos do not need a visa when they travel to Israel, so we encourage you to come and visit. And we are always here in, in events, of typhoons and other uh, events, we come and we try to help. But moving for that also to what we do in modern, in modern days, is actually today I believe that what we have to talk about is once you talk about business, media, and uh, I like to talk mostly on business, not, not, not only on business, but really on innovation and entrepreneurship, because this is what Israel is all about. It's about technologies, it's about innovation, it's about how to do things better in modern world, in a global world, and this is what helped us during the pandemic. It's digital health and technologies. And this is what we're trying to do today with the Philippines, is creating bridges of innovation and bridges of technologies between our two countries. And this is the main investment of myself as the Israeli ambassador here, is really to bring the Israeli innovation, the Israeli approach, work together with the Philippines to develop local solutions for the local challenges. Coming back from uh, visiting the country in the last two weeks, and I went to very remote places, seeing the challenges, there are plenty, but on the other hand, people are so amazing, always so happy, always so optimistic, always so open and hospitable and warm towards us as diplomats, as foreigners, and it makes you really want even more to connect and to work with them to identify the relevant solutions for those challenges. So, again, thank you very much for accepting us as, Filipi as foreigners in the Philippines. Thank you very much for the hospitality, and they're really very warm welcome and the friendship and I look forward for many more projects and opportunities to engage and to work together for the benefit of the Philippine people and the Israeli people. Thank you very much.